is up, everybody? Do, 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 with the muscle. Do, 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 do. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah, I'm in Nashville now. Where will I syndicate this? Where's that? Crypto Muscle and Crypto Muscle Network coming to you with another video. So, this is what we got going on here. Right? This is where you see stuff like this the Crypto Muscle Network and the Crypto Muscle Legacy Channel there. That's where you find stuff like this, all right? Polarizing, opinionated content. I mean, I keep it real. It's just simply what I do. I'm a loose cannon. I am the crypto outlaw. And so sometimes people just get their feelings hurt because I state the facts that are going on in this space. And uh, that's what's truly happening here. So I got my Telegram group as well, podcast channels. Subscribe to everything I got so you can stay on top of everything that's going on in this space. Especially platforms like Novatech where for a long time people kept on trying to say, Oh yeah, Novatech's good, Novatech's good, even though it was bad. But they kept on saying it was good and they got faith in Cynthia and all that. And, and all of a sudden, you know, now people are finally realizing, hey, you know, Novatech's not messing around anymore. They're not doing shit anymore. And people are finally starting to see that, uh-oh, right? And maybe finally made that decision of, okay, I better just stop trying to promote this thing. That's what people are doing finally. You know, and I, I don't get that. But anyhow, big news from Novatech once again. This is the forefront of my Crypto Death Watch series. By the way, welcome to my Crypto Death Watch series. And uh, let's start with this here. So it says here, very important time sensitive must be done today. This was posted yesterday. To all Novatech members, please log into your check your back office and click on e-wallet. When you get to e-wallet, you will see your bonus account and list of all your transactions. By default, it will list 10 transactions. Change the 10 to the max 500. Then at the top, print. Uh, there is a print icon. You could print to paper or print to PDF. We suggest PDF so you have a record of your transactions. Uh, after you've done this, blah, 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 uh, change it from 10. Lastly, screenshot the dashboard of your current total in your account. The reason this must be done today is that the e-wallet domain, which is separate from NovatechFX.com, is set to expire tomorrow and so far is not renewed. If the site expires tomorrow, you never, you will have no access, no longer have any access to the information. We feel important for everyone to be self-reliant and have copies of everything. Uh, thank you. That's what they're saying from the golden team of Novatech here. So um, the thing about it is, is that why are, why are they saying that? So let me see here if it shows here. No, it's in, must be the other Novatech group. Um, what they were showing is that Oh, no, they changed their name. Let me fix that. There we go. So what happened was they looked it up. And the domain for the wallet itself expired. Uh, let me see here. So that's Novatech, right? The main site is expires in 2026. But the wallet site which is Novatech LTD. So you see that there, NovatechFX.com, that's the main site. And then the wallet site that goes to the wallets, NovatechLTD.io, is set to expire. Oh, let's see what day is today. Tomorrow, Sunday. So today's Saturday. This thing is set to expire on Sunday, tomorrow, as you can see there, unless they renew it. So the question, why would uh, they renew it at this point, right? So that's why they're kind of in a panic of, uh-oh, we better, we better take all the snapshots we can because this, this might go down at some point. If not on Sunday, it might go down at some point for that wallet access and being able to get access to your wallet. And so it was funny because early in the year, there was talk about this. There was already chatter about this. And it, the, the belief amongst all you idiots or that ah oh, they'll be fine they're not they're gonna renew it and stuff and uh they didn't because <laughs> now it's about to expire which is pretty funny so can't wait to see what happens with that one and what this does for the platform and everybody else 
So yeah, that's the latest news here on Novatech. Still silent from Cynthia. Nothing's going on. No payouts. Broken promises. Queen D, your prayers didn't work. All right? And the list goes on and on. I mean, come on, people. Are you guys finally going to wake up from this? And speaking of waking up, man, I was reading some stuff today. And uh, we're going to take a look at the latest on uh, Max Spread slash Coin Market Bull. All right. So right now. We'll ask your Novatech update on that. So here's Max Spread, all right. And this is the garbage platforms here, Coin Market Bull. And I was in, I was in these things before all you guys, anyways, before these two fools here, all right. And that's the truth. So um, let me see here. Let's go look at Max Spread. So Max Spread, it's my account here, and um, my withdrawal has been pending since May twenty third. So we're about six days away from being a whole month of a pending. All right, here, six days away. So yeah, max spread is uh, definitely your ass spread on this one. Um, nothing really going on. All right, a lot of dirt mud slinging right now between them, th these guys, and your fearless leader, the Bacon Man himself. All right, and. Uh, He's, he's looking at these right now and says, man, you can't get that out, huh? But, yeah, they, they're throwing mud at each other around between Max Spread and the, the Bacon Man. I mean, outside of Cloudfly, come on, Surex? It's garbage, right? And then that other one, Tegeta, the sentiment, the sentiment amongst the room right now when it comes to that choice is that nobody wants to get involved, which is really funny. Oh, my man, it's so funny. All right, I'll tell a little bit more about that in a second here. So let's go jump on over to uh, Coin Market Bull. And currently, Coin Market Bull, we're looking at still a pending withdrawal now. This is going to be day 17. No, day 18, because it's 31 days in a month. All right, so uh, for May, that is. So right now, 18 days and counting for Coin Market Bull pending withdrawals. All right. So, let's see here. <laughs> um, yeah, this is what's funny, what's, what's been happening here. One, CM, well, let's just talk about what happened. So, a couple of days ago, uh, the Bacon Man here said, hey, I'm going to do a CMB webinar, right? And obviously, he's probably the only person that's kind of close to the inside of CMB to know what's going on, which he really doesn't know what's going on because he's an idiot. And that, with that, though... Um, he did it, he titled his video CMB, whatever, right, on Wednesdays, that's what they do, CMB, but yet the first hour of a two-hour webinar, right, the first half was about talking about a new entry into Tegeta, so he baited everybody to, uh, you know, watch this webinar, we're going to talk about CMB, right, we're going to address the issues that's going on with CMB since, you know, he has a falling out with, with the ass spread. And, uh, you know, CMB is the other baby right now that he will dump really soon. He's going to dump on this real soon. And I'll tell you why in a second here. But um, let's see here if I can find it. I don't know if it's on this page. Uh, if it's not, no big deal. All right. So, um... With that, though, he said, oh, you know, he went through Tegeta. And, uh, all right, let me, let me just pull it up so I can show you guys what I'm talking about here. Yeah, it has to be over here. Yeah, this is it right here, Tegeta. All right, and it has this connection to online casino and all that. I don't think there's any direct gambling. You know, you could do online casino and all that. Uh, it's all about just kind of passive income from the gaming industry but not necessarily gambling it's kind of like lance green and bit sports but with they do actual stuff on online casinos and stuff but we've seen this stuff before where the hypes have done this before and um it was okay so now jan the, the bacon man is trying to promote this new entry into this uh, and trying to push this thing hard and you know that's what he's been doing 
uh, poaching his own people into different platforms in his group. Um, and people were pissed. I mean, people were in an uproar about, hey, uh, what's going on here? Where's, where's CMB at that you're supposed to be talking about? And then finally, the second half of the video, uh, the webinar was addressing CMB. And he pretty much blamed everybody with the problems of what's going on at CMB. Talking about, you know, when he said that, you know, don't deposit anything. Um, don't deposit anything, right? But yet, there was not noted in the CMB official channel, right? There was no communication. He, he... <laughs> He got on board, Max Brett, announced he was CEO, then he took a month off. What kind of shit is that, right? And then comes back because these issues were happening since mid-April, all right? And then sit there and, you know, try to slough it off to the point where now you got a shitload of people complaining. Then he, he tried to address it and then try to finally come up with something. But first, hey, let me sell you guys Tegeta. <laughs> Right, and no one give a shit. People were pissed, though. It's like you you're wasting my time when you're supposed to be talking about CMB. And finally talked about it. And he says, "Here's what I'm going to do. I got a support form. You fill this out, and you know we're going to get this thing all squared away, right?" And you know what I'm thinking here? This is what I, this is my thought about that whole thing of CMB. All right, this is what's going to happen. He's doing this because. We all know that it's not going to work anyways, right? They've had two support emails, filled up mailboxes, unanswered. Um, this ongoing issue now with people not being paid for almost a month now for most people at CMB. And to say, oh, I fill out the support form. They're going to go through this. They've been overwhelmed. And to blame everybody and call everybody, you know, um, you know, all this, all these insulting things, right? Because you're just deflecting that CMB has issues. But no, no, no. He has a two-year contract that he wants to fill that two-year contract, which I called out anyways, that that shit will not go two years. I said this shit was going to fail in 2023, right? This year. And it looks like I'm about to be right real soon. So he's going to do this little support crap, fill out this form and turn it in. And they said that anybody that has pending withdrawals, don't do it. All right. Uh, it's only for the ones that have deposit issues, uh, withdraw issues that are not pending, and uh, to evade all that stuff. I said, how about this? Slam that shit. All right. Slam that shit. I don't care if you have pending withdrawals. Slam that shit in there. Jam them up. All right. Jam that shit up because these fools, you know, try to belittle you. They try to act like you're stupid. And you guys are moronic because you guys follow their stupid compounding plans. Um, and, uh, yeah, these guys need to get it handed to them, right? And I'm talking about, you know, Bacon Man and his little bitch, uh, Marcos, all right? Just slam that support form and send that shit in and jam, them, jam it up. I mean, even Jan said he was making statements about if he could just close people's accounts and he gets that ability to, he would do it. Man, imagine that, huh? So, you know, you you want something that's, um, you know, off to handle like that in that way because he can't handle a little bit of stuff like this, so he'd be, he becomes a little bitch too, and that's on you, all right? So this is what my thought of what's going to happen next with CMB. Max Spread's done anyways, right? CMB is going to be done. He spun off Mainnet. Well, that's why he's so focused on CloudFi twice a week, right? He's trying to get this Tegeta thing off the ground and it's going to replace CMB in a little bit. You'll see because he's going to he's going to push off CMB. He's going to dump that shit um, because he's not going to be able to fulfill anything anymore out of it. And, he's, and of course, this is what he do. He's going to deflect once again, blaming uh, CMB now, saying, oh, you know, mismanagement, blah, blah, blah. And he's going to say, look, I tried my best. I tried to help. I, I put these support forms out there. I did what I was supposed to do. I am trying to be a leader. I did what I'm supposed to do. And, you know, it's CMB's fault that they dropped the ball. Watch. It's so easy to predict. That's exactly what's going to do. Death watch. CMB's going to die 2023. Jan's going to dump it. And uh, all you guys are a bunch of idiots, all right? So comment down below. 
I'll see you in the next one.